Well, House Democrats remain divided on the possibility of moving forward with impeachment proceedings against the president. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi seems to have a different idea, though, of what fate should await him. Political reporting that Ms. Pelosi told senior Democrats in a meeting, quote, I don't want to see him impeached. I want to see him in prison. Let's bring in our political panel, Beverly Halberg, a fellow for the Independent Women's Forum, and Joel Rubin, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State under President Obama. Welcome to you both. Beverly. It's great yeah. to be with you. Let me start with you, Beverly. I, I mean, the Speaker does not support impeaching him yet. She wants to slap the handcuffs on him, see the president in prison stripes. Uh, you know, what's it behind this? Well, I think with her statement that was released, she's trying to show solidarity with the opinion of the president while making it very clear she doesn't think impeachment is the right tactic. And she is correct for three main reasons. One, the Senate will not convict him, even though it would pass the House. Number two, it would really bury their legislative agenda and what they're trying to accomplish. And number three, and probably most importantly, the president and Republicans are going to use this to gather support from their base. So I think when Nancy Pelosi looks at this, she's the adult in the room and she realizes it's a loser for Democrats. Uh, Joel, do you think it's a loser for Democrats? I mean, that meeting on Tuesday supposedly was pretty contentious. You got a whole bunch pushing for impeachment. Jerry Nadler's asked twice, and the speaker pushes back. Yeah, Eric, uh, first and foremost, Nancy Pelosi is the one person who has true power over Donald Trump right now. She can on Monday decide to launch the impeachment inquiry and begin this process. So uh, Trump should be thanking her rather than criticizing her. And, and really, she is testing the waters, trying to see if she can get enough support. But we're getting to a point right now where oversight is being blocked so much by the, the president and the executive branch that really uh, the president is in a way daring uh, Nancy Pelosi, Speaker Pelosi, to call for impeachment proceedings to begin because this administration is just not cooperating on any level right now with Congress in its oversight function. Well, is that, that, is, is is that enough of a reason to uh, call for impeachment, Joel? I mean, look, in Fast yeah. and Furious and Eric Holder, he was held in contempt. I mean, you have the Obama yeah. administration and other administrations pushing back against a congressional oversight. Yeah, no, congressional oversight pushback is normal. And I served at the State Department and, and handled the, the work with the House for the Secretary of State. But we didn't block on a repetitive basis every possible witness that Democrats in this case are asking for, which is what's happening. So uh, there's going to need to be a, a moment where Speaker Pelosi looks at her caucus and says, this is the time. And the president needs to really think through, does he want to continue to stonewall the uh, House of Representatives or does he want to cooperate? If he doesn't cooperate, he's going to get impeachment. Beverly, why doesn't the administration just cooperate? I mean, uh, you know, well, they there have. Is, uh, I mean, fully, <laughs> not just push back against all the subpoenas and say that we're not going to testify. Well, I think the American people, as well as the Trump administration, look at this and say, how much more do Democrats want? The administration was very forthcoming during the Mueller investigation. Of course, for two years, we heard that there was going to be collusion. There wasn't. Um, so the American people, and I think Nancy Pelosi realizes this, do not support moving forward with impeachment. They say enough is enough. He was elected in office. And I do think this comes down to if people have an issue with what was in the Mueller report, there are unfavorable things towards him in there, then that's going to be decided in 2020 when people vote. So that's the direction that this should go, because do we really want more taxpayer money and more time spent on an issue that so far at this point hasn't gone anywhere and it already has been investigated? So how do, where do you think this will go? Uh, Joel mentioned that unless something you know major comes up, what's your prediction of the path well, the Democrats will take leading into 2020? Very with likely. Nancy Pelosi in charge, I don't think she'll move forward with impeachment. We're li likely to see that some legal um, issues that result from this, but those will not be resolved before 2020. So I think what happens with Democrats, if they push too hard, if Nancy Pelosi is not able to keep her caucus in check on this issue, I think it just benefits Republicans. And Donald Trump will continue to use this in his upcoming um, campaign and potentially could lead to him winning election yeah. once again. How about that, Joel? I mean, could this boomerang on the Democrats uh, in favor of the president? Well, it, it could boomerang if nothing is found, but there's a lot underneath those rocks. And right now, Democrats are unified behind Speaker Pelosi. There is concern and frustration about tempo and pace. But clearly, Speaker Pelosi is voicing not just the frustration of the caucus as a whole, but also a real idea that it has to be done politically in a manner that demonstrates that the president engaged in crimes and that he engaged in, in impeachable offenses. And uh, that may be very well why he's blocking any kind of testimony from his White House aides. And something else, Joe. You served in the very highest levels of, of our government. I mean, you've got a real, they're throwing bricks at each other. Uh, I they mean, when, are, when the are. Speaker of the House says the President of the United States deserves to be in prison, and then yeah. the uh, President of the United States says the Speaker of the House is a disgrace to the country and to her family, 
Um, have you ever seen anything like this? No, it, it's getting really personal now. It, it is reminiscent from a Democratic perspective of the calls to lock her up of, of Hillary Clinton on the campaign trail. Uh, this is really hardball stuff right now. And, and Speaker Pelosi, uh, she is taking shots. She also received significant shots from the beaches of Normandy, where uh, a nickname, a negative nickname of her was, was used by the president. So uh, it's getting very intense. And I don't think it's going to dissipate. Something's going to have to break. If the White House doesn't allow witnesses to go forward, they're going to see a more unified Democratic front uh, and potential impeachment. And, and Beverly, quickly, finally, what, what do you make of the tone, your thoughts? Well, I've never been a fan of name calling from either side altogether. I think most Americans wish that would stop. But at the same time, I do think the president has a perspective on this, which is, hey, we've already been through an investigation. Now there are calls of putting him in jail. We are talking about the president, someone that people elected, yet we don't have any evidence of anything that he should be put in jail for. So I think there's a reason why he's being tough on this, even though I wish they both stop calling each other names. All right, maybe, maybe that'll happen. I bet it won't. All right. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. All right, Joel and Beverly, thanks so much.